new mercies I see. What up, it's your girl Mena. In this video, we are going to be testing out new products all over again. The main product that we're testing today is the Morphe. Gosh, these foundations, why do they be having such long names? The Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. Jeez, yes, that. Now, I purchased this foundation in two different colors. I got Filter Rich 30 and Filter Deep 35. Like I matched to a few colors around these two, but I wanted to get two colors that were more neutral. Clearly, Deep 35 is darker than Rich 30. Now this is a frosted glass, so you can't really see the color inside of it. I'm gonna swatch the two of these and we're gonna figure it out. Got my headband wig on in case you're wondering. I'll link it below in case you want it. Now, when it comes to this foundation, let's see, it's skincare infused. And I'm seeing that often. Are you seeing that? Skincare infused makeup product. So it's like, I remember the Bare Minerals Foundation had skincare in it. There's another one, LYS, Love Yourself Beauty coming out, Black Owned coming out in Sephora. They also have skincare in their products. This also has skincare in it. Let's see what kind. Okay, I'm reading from the site. Delivers natural finish for healthy looking skin. Natural finish we've done before, didn't really go so well. It looks really beautiful, but I like to be like matte. I don't mind a satin finish, you know, a nice balance between the natural dewy and the, the matte. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see where this one falls when it comes to that. The Lux Long Wearing Formula Designed to Blur Imperfections, Deeply Hydrating and Nourishing the Skin. Ooh, those are like swear words to me. Because you know, I do the nourishing with my skincare. I don't look for my foundation to hydrate me, but we gonna see. Unless there were times where my skin was like really in bad condition because you know, I needed, I needed to rehab it. Okay, so I was rehabbing my skin, so I was reaching for all of the dewy products when it comes to makeup. But silky smooth, medium to full. I'm gonna see how full it is. Buildable, 40 shades. It's sweat proof, transfer proof, waterproof. Hmm, it lasts 12 hours, okay? It's a reasonable amount of hours. It's got hyaluronic acid in it. Hyaluronic acid is very hydrating. When you apply hyaluronic acid as a skincare product, you wanna follow up immediately with a moisturizer, something to seal it all in, like a Ziploc, okay? Boosts moisture levels. Vitamin E delivers antioxidant protection. Hmm. Is there is there SPF in this? There isn't an SPF claim on here, okay? Free of oils, parabens, and fragrances. Lux formula created in Italy. I'm gonna say Italy. Glycerin is a hydrator, Jesus. So Oh, we're already looking at oils. This is free of oils, but we're already gonna be, oh, it's already speaking the very hydrated language. This is gonna be great if you have dry skin or you just prefer a dewy looking foundation. We are gonna set, that's a must, but we already know that usually, even if the, we set a powder, if the foundation is meant to be hydrating, it's gonna still be hydrating, okay? And it did come with this brush. We're gonna use that. I got the one size secure the blur, blur, blur. <laughs> secure the blur, I can't. Oh, I gotta use my accent. Secure the blur. Oh, blur. How do you say blur? Blur, I just said it. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? Moving on. I guess I'm gonna use this. I don't know because this is hydrating. We're not gonna go with Huda, you know? Huda, Huda, Huda. We're not gonna go with that because that's gonna be like extra grease, waters. I don't want my face to be like water. I want my face to be like, I don't know what I want. <sighs> Okay, an ultra blurring pore refining primer with niacinamide. So the primer has skincare in it. What is going on? All these brands putting skincare in their products. And what I mean is skincare in their products that are not skincare products. Like it's not meant to be skincare, but they're putting it in. Quite intriguing, huh? An ultra blurring pore refining primer with niacinamide that mattifies. I believe that, because niacinamide, will, it's good for you if you have oily skin, it'll decrease the skin oil. Evens out skin texture. So that's the blurring part. As it grips makeup for a flawless application. Okay, we're gonna see. I don't know why I thought this was gonna be, I don't know what I thought. Okay, it's a makeup magnet primer. Let's see. Have you tried this? Let me know. Oh, okay, I thought this would be like a liquid. Look how thick it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is thicker than I expected. You really have to squeeze this thing to get it out. Wow, okay. Oh, this is thick. It's a little more loose than Farsali skin tune, but it's giving me Farsali vibes in a way. Okay, do I need to pat? I wonder if there's a point at which you rub it too much and it crumbles, you know? That does happen with some primers. I'm gonna just leave that there. Okay, it feels nice. I should have done the swatches before I primed because I'm going to have to wipe off one of them to do my things, it's annoying. Okay, this is, let's see what Filter Rich 30 talking about. This is not my color, I can already tell. Oh no, this ain't it. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. this ain't gonna work. Okay. Lord, I hope this one fits me. Please let this work. Filter Deep 35. This looks really neutral, but I think it'll work. Oh, God. Mm. <sighs> you know, uh, uh, dang it. I really wanted to do this video. Uh, okay, so this is really dark. Let me see something. I mean, maybe I can make this work. I can make this work. 
yeah i can make this work i always like to put it on the back of my hand you get more control that way it looks light but once you blend it it actually works this is an interesting shape for a brush, I do have to say. Yeah, it actually does work. Yo, that's why all first rip, you gotta be careful. You could really make stuff work. Give it a second. No. This looks really pretty, wow. I'm definitely seeing medium. I'm not seeing full right now. This is so weird. I don't apply my foundation like this. I don't apply it in a wiping motion on the whole face. Like I might wipe it to apply it, like to put it on, but then I'm more patting it in, you know that. I like to use a flat kabuki brush, but this I'm, I'm having to wipe, so it feels very strange. Wow, this this actually matched. Yo, all first rip, you gotta understand, cause I took a lot as well. So it was a large amount in a small spot. It looks kind of crazy. Okay, now moving on to this side. This does look really pretty. It's not as dewy as I was expecting it to be, which is a good thing, because I don't want this to look like skincare. You know, when I, when I do my skincare, my face looks really shiny and hydrated and amazing. That's not what I want when I do my makeup. I don't want that. <laughs> you might want that. I don't want that. Wow, this looks good. Mm. Hold on a minute. We might have something here. Not too much on the forehead. We're not trying to have any lines of demarcation. Go a little easy once you get to your forehead so you can really blend out the hairline area, wiping it off on my top in front of people tall in front of me I do need to do this blotting motion I'm just this is just what I'm used to I can't swipe it on my whole face like lotion I, I just cannot do that I can't do that that's like a lot to ask for you know wow this is looking wow I'm really loving it right now look at me I'm like going underneath like I'm painting a painting a picture this is really uh I'm glad I'm glad this fit me because I was a little bit nervous that we're not gonna be able to do this, but we are. Oh, now I get it. And as unique as this brush is and strange for me based on what I like, I really am enjoying using it. Let's focus more on the inside. If we're gonna apply more, don't apply more on the outside of your face. If you're gonna apply more, stick to the inside. We don't want any lines of demarcation. You know, we've discussed this already several times in several videos. No lines of demarcation, especially on the chin and the hair line that's where everything stops I never bring my foundation to my chin nor my chest nor my neck not my shoulders I just don't do that you know I know some people do I don't if you want to do that do what you feel but don't ask me to do it because I refuse <laughs> it's not full coverage the way I know full coverage to be but buildable for sure but you also have to take into account that everyone's skin is different so if you're someone that has lots of dark spots, blemishes on your face. If you're brown skin, deeper brown skin, because you know, blemishes and dark spots on someone with fair skin will likely look brown, maybe lighter brown, but I've, I've never seen someone with fair skin, like pale skin with dark spots that look like my skin tone, you see? So the dark spots are gonna be a different shade of darkness. So if you have deep skin like me and you have dark spots on your face, our dark spots look almost black. So if you had a lot of, or not even a lot, like one or two, cause I even have one right here, but it's fading out because I'm doing my skincare, hello. But if you had a lot of dark spots and you were to use this foundation and you had my skin tone and your dark spots were dark, dark brown, I don't believe you would find this to be full coverage buildable for you. I believe you would find this to be medium coverage similar to how I'm finding it right now. This is the medium coverage, you know why? Cause I can still see some of my skin right here and I'm okay with it. If your skin is even, you might consider this to be full coverage, but because I do makeup, I know that this is not full coverage. But is it beautiful? Yes. Should you get it so far? Yes. But just be mindful when you see those claims of medium to buildable full coverage. What you might consider full coverage might not be what I consider to be full coverage. Okay, we're gonna fast forward to concealer and then move on to any of the other items that I have that are new. Now the interesting thing is that this is the Morphe concealer, which I absolutely love. It's the C4.35 is the one I wear. I absolutely love it. Now this is a mattifying concealer, a fast drying concealer. Watch my concealer video to understand more about the differences in concealers and how to pair them with your foundation. This, I wonder how it's gonna look with this foundation, with the foundation being more hydrating. This sponge is so dope. Someone sent it to me and I don't know who it was. I like the shape of it a lot. <laughs> I wish I had more than one, I don't know who it was though. I got this by Terry Hyaluronic Acid Powder in PR recently, and I can't lie, I'm a little bit concerned and confused. Like, what does this mean? So let me open this up, and we're gonna set the highlighted areas with this. And I hope it comes out good, because this is stark white. Some of these powders are so finely milled that they still look really good. Some of these powders, 
<laughs> you having your liquor super? You know, putting some in the cap, that's always a good thing to do. It's not a lot coming out at once, which I actually prefer. So you have time to really accumulate everything. I'm not doing the sponge. The sponge has played me one too many times. So I'm gonna just make sure I have no creases under my eye. That I'm gonna use the sponge for, obviously. And then I'm going to keep my eyes like this so I don't form any other creases right, right there, like right underneath. Get some on the brush. This is very finely milled. I can just tell by looking at it. Oh, good. Thank God. I could put this all over my face if I wanted to. Huh, yeah, this does look good. Okay, okay. This is my first time trying by Terry and I've seen a lot about it. I'm pleased. And you know, we we take Fenty Pro Filter, all these long names, <laughs> Soft Matte Powder Foundation for 50. Put this on the face, watch my video on that. I'm gonna use Set the Tone Finishing Powder, Melanated Mama by The Lip Bar. It's released. You need to get it, okay? Fan tab. And of course, you can use this on your face if your skin tone is darker than mine. But for me, being that this is a darker powder, I'm using it as a contour, a very light contour. So now I'm gonna do my eyebrows, all right? I have, I mean, I've been using this on um, IGTV, but I'll use it here so you can see. So the lip bar, I've got Exact Arch Micro Brow Pencil. I'm gonna use the deep brown one to create the strokes and create the shape. Then I'm going to use black brown to darken out the end. Alrighty, so I'm keeping my eyes like this because I don't want this to crease. I'm gonna be trying the new Urban Decay Wild West palette. I can't stand these brushes that come in these. Do you use these brushes? I don't. I usually like the way the palette looks. They're usually really beautiful on the outside, okay? What I don't like are these lines. I know that it's unique to them, but it's not ideal when you're trying to get the eyeshadow out of it. So, cause I'm always having to go down versus like being able to dip. I don't know, whatever. All right, I'm using the color Ghost Town in my crease. And this is not as, there's a mirror in here, I'd be forgetting. This is a nice color. This color reminds me of the transition color that I've been using in the one size palette, the Patrick Star one size palette. Always tap off the excess, no harsh lines. So I'm bringing this into the end of the highlight from the brow. This, this chair is crick, Jiminy Cricket. I need to put some oil on this chair. What in the world? And now I'm doing a halo, as you can see. I haven't done a halo in a long time. I'm gonna use Whiskey, which is this brown color right next to Ghost Town. And I'm gonna put this in the crease to deepen it out a little bit. That they were sent here by the president. All right, and I haven't done this in a while, which is use a silver. So Cowboy Rick is a silver that's in here. Let's do that right in the middle. Ooh, and using the finger, you know, is the best way to get a shimmer color to really pop. Looking down so this doesn't make a huge mess on my face. Love in the silver. Oh. Okay, that was the one size eyeliner. Point Made Bodacious Black 24 Hour Liquid Eyeliner Pen. I have not done a winged liner in a very long time, you know that. You at least see me do winged liner. I was intrigued today. I could have put some of the reddish brown right here to stand in the middle of the crease and the, the shimmer, but I wanted to leave it. I haven't done silver in a long time and I wanted to pop. So there are different things you can do with your, your eyes depending on what you wanna do. Wanna be boilers, shot callers, brawlers. Now we have mascara. Let me use the Lip Bar Lash Flash Strengthening Mascara. And then we're gonna do eyelashes, which are always linked below. And then we're gonna finish off the eyes. Alrighty, lashes are on. And now I'm gonna apply the lip bar straight out of patience. I love these names. Straight out of patience, smudge proof eyeliner. Putting Hold'em right in my tear duct. Okay, now Kosas. This is my first PR from Kosas. They sent this Helios Color and Light Cream Palette. This is very, very creamy, very thick. Let's check this out for a second. Wow, wow. Okay, this is so creamy. I cannot apply this with a sponge. It is thick. But how would I apply it? Like, do I go like this? Or would it pick up my, I think it would, I feel like it would pick up my makeup if I'm not careful. We have this cream side. This has gotta be a blush. Wow, it's 
very orange. Okay, let me do my highlighter the way I know it. Rare Beauty Flaunt Liquid Luminizer. Love this so much. All right, I want to use this orange. I want to diffu diffuse it. I want to diffuse it a little bit because it's very, very strong. This is just a random stippling brush. Just can't even see the name on it. Whatever. Okay, so I'm taking some of the orange onto this brush. A lot, actually. Because <laughs> then I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. And this is a lot, okay? Starting at the apples of the cheek. I think I took off too much. <laughs> oh, no, you can see it. Can you see it very lightly? That's beautiful. It's very subtle. Take some more back of the hand. Got to because this thing is loud. If you go right to your face, you're going to regret it. <laughs> you're going to regret it, you know? I could have used my sponge, but again, that sponge is angled strangely. I like a matte blush. I don't like a dewy looking blush. So that's what's that's what's turned me off right now. But this is really beautiful. Like my highlight shiny, but not my blush. Okay, so now I'm a little bit torn. I want to do an orange lip to match the to match the cheeks because to me, at least what I learned and what I like, especially as a former makeup artist, artist you want to match your blush to your lip. That calls for an orange lip, but I also swatched this lippy that I got from Madame Gabriela. It doesn't match the cheek though. Like, do you see orange and then pink? To me, that would bother me all day. Okay, I, I guess I have to just do this a different a different time. I need to get a, I guess I'm gonna go nude. I'm so sick and tired of nude. I'm so sick and tired of nude. No, maybe not. Okay, whatever. I guess I'm gonna go nude. Maybe even nude with the pink. Cause y'all really been feeling this combination on IG. So let me just give you this, this nude with the pink. We gonna do that, okay? So first step is the Lip Bar Savage. And then the second step is Kike Cosmetics Jenny. We're gonna just do that. Okay, so this is not really a nude. <laughs> I tried, okay, yeah. Boy, have I been loving this combo. The fan comes in handy because it'll quicken the drying process of your lippy. You know, I love to use lip stain because it's matte, it lasts, why not? Now I feel like putting a gloss on top. Let's do a gloss to go with the shimmery eyes. Shimmery eye, shimmery lip, you know, keeping with the same situation. You can see my orange cheeks and my pink lips. Like, I like it, but I don't. <laughs> I feel like I should have done an orange lip. I don't know. I don't wear orange blush. I don't have orange blushes. The blush I normally wear is Elf Cosmetics Always Fiery and it's a reddish brown situation. So the orange blush is really setting me off right now. I like it though. It's just different and I can see the orange. This is beautiful. It's just shiny. That's also part of it. I don't do shiny blush. Okay, this is Elf Cosmetics Retro Paradise Dream On Lip Gloss. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a shine. I really like it. The foundation looks really good. This definitely is my match. I'm enjoying the way it looks right now. It is dewy. Uh huh. A little bit concerned about what it's gonna look like a little later. I don't even feel like doing a wear test with it because I already know that I'm gonna be looking shiny. I already am looking shiny, but I. I like the way it looks. I just don't enjoy the shine. And maybe it's because the cheeks are also shiny from the blush that it just makes my face look even more shiny. Because for instance, look at my forehead. My forehead isn't necessarily shiny, especially in the middle, but just the cheek section is really in the middle of the face. So that's where I'm seeing the attention of it looking really shiny. That's just my thing. If you want a hydrating foundation, you need to get this. I think it'll look very beautiful on you. You will really enjoy it. If you have oily skin and you do not want a hydrating foundation, you want to be matte, 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 matte. Then you want to obviously use a mattifying primer. Look at my primer video. This is definitely going to be it if you want to look natural, meaning hydrated. Right now it's not giving me wet and gross. It's giving me like a satin finish. You know, satin's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but not overly done. I like it a lot. I'm going to try it again with a very mattifying primer to see if that helps to keep it or like make it look a little less shiny because we did use a matte powder on top, but this is just how the skin works. The foundation is, it's got hyaluronic acid in it. So it's gonna give us a do. If you like this video, I want you to comment below. I want you to give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friend as well. Make sure you are subscribed. I'm glad you're here and thank you for watching the video. Bye.